All right, maiden voyage. This thing is awesome. Got my settings set to straight ahead, 2.2 miles an hour. There's fish surfacing right there, thinking about boiling. Tony's out here somewhere. Tony! I don't know. Should have brought the radios. Didn't even think about it. Didn't bring any swivels. Left my sunglasses in the truck. But I'm on the water. And loving it so far. I gotta ask, is that a little bit of bounced thing in the head unit there? Is that normal? Is it supposed to do that? I'm on setting three and a half. I'm just cruising along. Okay, we're uh, still haven't caught anything, but putting her to the test here. I got my cruise control set, got my north heading set, and it's holding me right at 1.9 miles an hour into the wind. This thing is freaking awesome. There's Tony. Tony trying to catch some wind. Oh, we're at Temple Bar in Arizona, like 40 miles east of Vegas. Let's see if I can zoom this in. I guess I gotta have it off to zoom it in. All right, 50 feet of water. The water is 87 degrees. That's insane. So we're gonna zoom down through this little cove over here. And then there's a shelf on the other side of this we're gonna run down. See if we can't find some fish. Yeah, pretty. Two lines out. Mega bass, 110 plus one and 110 plus two. And they usually love them, but they're not wanting to have anything to do with them today. Don't know why. All right, here is the first fish caught out of the Autopilot 136, and he's almost as big as the bait. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. He's going back, obviously. Little bitty smallmouth. Okay, you can see it in videos and read about it, but until you experience the cruise control and the heading setting. This is just amazing. This is the coolest thing I've ever experienced. And I've experienced some pretty cool crap. But I'm at Temple Bar. I don't know if I said that earlier. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, Overton is over there. Las Vegas is way over there. Uh, Benelli Landing is about 20 miles that way. But man, this is, I'm just setting back. I got a mile of room. I was, I'm 6'2", 225-ish. And I was, I walked up there, walked. Just like I'm on a bass boat. Um, this is the most amazing thing ever. This is way more stable than my uh, Hobie Pro Angler 14. That Hobie Pro Angler 14 is just a memory, a distant memory now. I'll never go back to Hobie. Fish on! Holy moly. Okay, let's see if I cannot lose this. Fish on! Uh. 
there you go. That's fish number two. Out of the autopilot. I'm not keeping any of these. There he is. A little striper, a little dink. Okay, uh, like I was saying, um, I hooked that fish, landed that fish, never took it off cruise control, never took the north setting off, hooked the fish, landed the fish, released the fish, never ever took the, you know, took the, <laughs> turned the trolling motor off. So that's pretty awesome. Still had did the whole thing with the second line out, forgot about that. It's kind of easy to forget about that when you don't have to really actually worry about it. That you're not going to get twisted up. But yeah, uh, this is awesome. That's all I can say is this is awesome. I'm probably going to say that about a hundred more times a day. Okay, uh, it's getting really, really hot. I haven't seen Tony for like an hour. He probably already went in. I'm definitely exploring places I've never been before. This is just gorgeous out here. But I had to do this, I gotta do this, just for all you Hobie guys out there. Watch this. There's a 360 for a, about a thousand dollars less than you're paying for it. And I'm doing it with a motor. All right, I'm gonna head this thing in. I've been out here for three and a half hours. And I'm gonna set this puppy up on seven just because that's how sure I am of this battery. And I'm heading for the marina. That's the worst that could happen. I gotta paddle a few miles. I don't think I'm gonna have to though. Set my heading button. And it's gonna take me that way. I could just sit back and drink a water and take in the scenery. All right, I gotta do this just because I did it with the MK 106, but I'm at speed 10, four miles an hour. I'm gonna burn a high speed circle. Just because I can. Pretty much inside its own link, just like the other one. And then, just to be incredibly goofy, full power, speed 10, I'm standing up. I don't want to go that way, so we lean over and we hit the rudder to go that way. And we go that way. Again, no skinny mini, 6'2", 225 ish, 230, something like that. Standing up, flat out. I'd say it's pretty stable. That's it for this one. Got a bunch of little fish, like six smallmouths and like seven or eight stripers. But this was pretty much just about getting to know this thing, and I like it. All right. See you next time.